Hi, it's Martina. It's Simon. And we live in Japan. Welcome to Eat Your Sushi. We have made the miraculous return. Welcome back to Eat Your Sushi. It's been something like a month since our last episode. Has it really been that long? Yes. I kept and this isn't like... even published on the right day. This is published on... Some like, other day that is some not Some other day that is not Monday. <laughs> We're really behind on these. Uh... But we do have lots of stories we want to tell you. We've been compiling them all. We can't tell you all of them because this will take for six hours. It will take for six this hours. This will take for the wow, 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 wow. Simon's English um, has gotten better. But... I, I want to tell a story that's very special in our hearts about our time in Shibuya. So Martina sometimes has to use a cane on bad days. Not all the time, but just sometimes she has to walk with a cane. And one day we were walking to the taxi stand in Shibuya. And it was an especially busy day. It was like rush hour. Super busy. Yeah, exactly. We saw from a distance the lineup for the taxis already forming. It was going to be a really long wait. Yeah, and we were like running late. And Martina said, don't walk with me. Just hurry up, run and get a spot in mm -hmm. line. I'll be Okay. Because by the time I get there, I'm like, I'm going as fast as I can. I'm like all slow. these people are like zooming past me and I can mm. see them lining up. So I'm like, mm. do it. Recon mission. Go Simon. And I'm like, girl, I am your rock. I am your foundation. I will not leave you behind. I will be there for stability and support no matter what. And I was like, super duper. I still need you to go ahead. Girl. I will not leave you behind. I am a gentleman and I must take care of you that's, no matter what. That's so sweet of you to say. If you could just not gentleman happening. yourself into I that I love you, lineup. girl. I have to make sure that you are going to be okay. So finally, I realized there was nothing that I could say. And what was interesting is in front of us, we saw like an old man like hobbling with a cane as well. And he was going pretty slow. We were slow also, but we actually wound up going around him. So we were a little bit faster than him. I felt really like vindicated. Like even though I'm the slowest person here, I'm not yep. the slowest person person here you like go. you know who i beat i beat that old, beat man, that old cane. man on the cane on my cane i'm like a youthful uh -huh. cane mover and then when we finally like wound up getting into line the old man finally made it to line also and he, he walked he was like five minutes behind yeah, us. he was like five minutes behind and i'm like ah see we beat the old man he walks around us and goes in front of us and i'm thinking what what just because you got a cane you can walk in front of us then we realized that his wife actually ran up ahead of us and grabbed a spot in line what now his sure. wife did recon <laughs> she went ahead <laughs> He said, you're my rock, you're my... She went, that's great. Look. I'm going to go recon that lineup. And he well, schooled me. I lost everything that day. I'm <laughs> didn't lose a loving spouse that values your safety I would have loved for you to get in line is what I would love so that we can get a taxi. Those old people beat me. Those old, so we've learned our lesson in the future. You're going to do recon? I, mean, I just don't want to leave you behind. Do the recon. <laughs> So Simon and I are for dinner right now, and I'm currently in the washroom, and in the washroom they have toilet apples. What am I supposed to do with these toilet apples? Are these edible toilet apples? Like, I mean, there's a toilet, and there's an apple. <laughs> So some of you might have seen that we recently published a video about Hawaii. When we were on our way to Hawaii, we actually had to call a taxi to come to our house to pick us up. Because we had so much luggage, so much we luggage. can't bring all of that to the bus hub. Because oh my God. rock here is going to carry all the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Anyway, so we called a taxi and our street is quite narrow. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, like only one car can fit it's on. It's a one-way street. Let's be honest. It it's be. a one-way street. So this taxi picks us up and he's a sassy old man. And as he's driving down the street, we can see another car coming at us. And uh -huh. this has happened before. And usually yeah. what happens is Somebody has to kind of give and take and yeah, so they kind of like into a pull driveway. off to the side and then like the other one pulls off the side and you squeak around yeah, each other. It's a very dangerous dance of cars almost touching, but it never happens. Mm -hmm. Well, our sassy old driver was like, I'm not moving for this woman because she is in a minivan and she's got to learn how to go around me. Yeah, and this was like a big minivan because a lot of like cars in Japan are a lot smaller, but this yeah. was like a like an American size minivan yep. and she was trying to get around, like drive up on the driveway. But what's funny about it was mm -hmm. we saw her from a distance yeah she already failed to back into a driveway yeah. to let another car by and then you mm. see her like kind of panic and mm. give up our taxi could have pulled off to the side and you could have just like given her some more room instead we waited for seven minutes i'm not kidding like we yeah. looked at our clock for seven minutes we saw this woman squeak you and could squeak, see the sweat like pouring down pouring her face. down her <laughs> face eventually she gets halfway there and then she rolls down her window and, and it, we're like now it's on. It's on. She is going to spit on him. She rolls down the window and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, 
I'm not a sorry with this. I'm All smiles and kind voices. Not a single word of <laughs> you old man for not moving your <laughs> car. Then to give me some room. She just smiled. She had the patience out of this world. And I, he didn't even get mad either. No. The taxi cab driver was just kind of like smiling. And I was yeah. like, this is either the most amazing I was mad aggressive. for the woman. <laughs> How does this happen? He could have backed into our driveway. Yes, okay. we have a driveway. <laughs> and he's Back like, into the driveway. He's like, nope, you know? nope, deal with a girl. Well, then the funny part is she finally gets by after somebody came out to try to tell her she can make it. Yeah. She's like sweating bullets. Uh -huh. and she finally makes it pass. And we're like, oh, good. Uh, and the taxi cab God. driver was <laughs> like, we're all like, yeah, let's go. Yep. And then another car came. Another car came. I've never and seen so many cars on the And he street. did the same thing. The he same. just laid in the middle of the street until like there was literally no space. I actually had to ask him to reverse. And he's like, all right, fine, I guess. But the point of this is the patience that people have when driving is unlike anything. Unlike the driving I've experienced because nobody honked their horn. This should have been 10 A minutes of leaning on the horn, of calling your homies up and having them drive up to honk at the person there also. There was fingers. nothing. It is so so peaceful here in Japan. And passive aggressive. So peaceful. Challenging. It's time for the weekly challenge! This is the challenge to end all challenges. Okay. This is the Eat Your Sushi Olympics! Kind of. Now, I don't know anything about the games mm -hmm. for today because I usually plan most of the games and I lay them out, but Mart No, I do a lot of the logistics of everything, okay? I do the logistics. Today, Martina's like, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. I'm like, go ahead, girl. It's all up to you. You pick what we're gonna play. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna roll down my window. <laughs> F you, old man! <laughs> <laughs> Roll the bag up and play your heavy metal. Okay, you're fine. Today will be a battle of three. Ooh. We have three things that we can win yep. with points, and the winner at the end will be crowned the winner, and the other person will be crowned forever the Fat Fat Taco Head. Forever of the and ever, forever. Fat Fat Taco Head. So here's what's up. Okay. We have here um, different animals. Yeah. Okay. You and I are each picking these animals, mm -hmm. and then we were drawing for both everybody at home and yeah. also for Dan. Okay. Upside down. So we're drawing it like this. So we're gonna draw like this. Yes. The idea is to get Dan to guess the animal the fastest. Martina has a whatever. If it's oh, right, we're getting I different win. animals. We have different. Animals. Oh, okay, so I thought if we both have cow, if he just shouts out cow, then who wins? No, but we, we have, have separate animals. animals. Ah, okay. so, 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 The key, Dan, is just to make sure you yell something like, Martina, unicorn! And the key unicorn. to Dan right? is integrity. He can't just be like, Simon pissed me off last week. I'm just going to say octopus over and over Simon again. Simon said that Dan he plans all Dan is a man the of integrity, and he will honestly too late to guess butter him up, if he says something. Okay, pick one. I value, it's too late. I value Dan's it's honesty and sincerity. What? Okay, okay. Uh, so, 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 oh. so, 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 I got this. I got this. Crumble that up so Dan can't eat it. Eat it. <laughs> eat, eat it. it. Eat it. Eat, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh my god, I'm not prepared for this. I'm not ready. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Uh, I'm just drawing a penis. Toucan, <laughs> <laughs> Martina, Toucan. No. Uh, seagull, pigeon. Oh, a peacock. Yep! Oh! Oh, bring it! Bring it! That's the ball of the peacock! the peacock! the peacock! That's an ugly ass bird, girl. What is it? You know, I. It what was, is it? That's a parrot. It's a parrot. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I lose from now on okay. because losing a drawing challenge is like losing everything. Girl, remember. Remember, we were talking about the, We were talking about this this morning, and Martina's like, I would whoop you in a drawing challenge. I like. Next challenge, the bowling ball game. Okay. You only get one chance, okay? So if you bowl and you knock down one pin, you only get one point. Is you that how you laid out the pins? Now that's important because right. every single pin has a corresponding number. On your turn, yeah. you bowl. Yeah. Whatever you knock down, let's say you knock down four pins. Yeah. You get four points. Underneath the pins, I have to eat whatever you knocked down. Okay. The pins match with the food. It's an awful, awful punishment. Let's -a go! Let's do it! <laughs> Here we go, ladies first. Got her ball. Got her ball, got her ball, got her ball. Oh man, I only knocked out one. You got, got one. This pin says minus. 
<laughs> that says a lot. You get to eat this? I have to eat that? Yeah, that's the whole point. Enjoy your marshmallow. Wait, 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 wait. They're wait, numbered. Wait. They're all numbered. Wait, wait, wait. Three, four, two, and one. What did you put in I here? I don't know what I put in there, but enjoy it. Eat it. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> eat it. It's a marshmallow filled with chocolate. <laughs> and wasabi. <laughs> Even though I got one point, it was worth it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. If I lose, I win. That was terrible. Girl, I'm gonna whip this shit out of all those balls. <laughs> get down there and get ready for your punishment. Okay, you ready? Number three. Number three, what's number three? Number three is you gotta eat all this weird shit. Not all of it. Like, of course you do. You don't eat all of them. I just ate some goddamn wasabi thing. You gotta put all of them in your mouth. I'm sorry you're a loser. Um, these are mystery candies. Yes. So you don't know what the candies actually taste like. I don't eat all four of them. Yeah, you do. Easy. So I'm willing to take two of those. You will take two. I will take two. I can't believe you didn't knock down more than one. Missed my mouth. Guess I can't eat it. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm. First up is what tastes to me like chocolate vomit. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh my smells. god. What the? What is this? It? It's in your mouth. That's <laughs> one. The other one. Can't be worse. Oh my god. That was awful. Thanks, John Coyote. Mm. This one is. What is it? I think these might be expired. We bought these like when mm -hmm. we first started to eat your sushi, we just never used them. <gasps> yep. Oh, on to the next one. All right, what other game have you thought of, of a girl? So I think this game should be called Dan's Revenge because we're playing Flip Cup, except he filled the three with whatever the hell he wants to fill it with. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do mail time after this. We're gonna be totally wasted. Very but much. It's magic. <laughs> mad, mad, mad. Here's the deal, guys. All right. Every cup is worth a point. Yeah. Okay. The game is called flip cup. Drink whatever's in the cup, put it at the edge. You gotta flip it. If you flip it, then you win, and you move on to the next it's cup. It's gotta go like that. Yes. Whoever finishes the three is gonna be the winner. All right. You ready? ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh no. Then you're. There's scotch in that. This is definitely scotch. This is definitely way too much scotch. You can't even chug this, it's so bad. Oh my god, damn, what? Got it. You're dead to me, Dan. That's I don't know what it is, this terrible. Uh, no! Ugh, I feel sick. This, this is terrible. This is not how you play it, Dan. You should have guided him. I did. He went crazy with power. This is a strong zero. That is a strong zero grapefruit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but did I lose? Because I'm not drinking this last one. I definitely drank more than I should have. I didn't. Yay. How cool is this at City Hall? When it's raining outside and you don't want to drag your wet, dirty umbrella around with you? Oh, let's just put it in the umbrella holders and then you actually just like lock it up and take the key with you. That's so cool. So that nobody can steal your umbrella afterwards. Put in your thing, you get the key, and get, see, isn't that amazing? So cool. This is so cool. I'm sick and dying. Remember me, everyone. Remember me as I was. Smelly. Which was sick. <laughs> so smelly. <laughs> So somebody didn't tell Dan how much alcohol to put inside of a flip cup. So we got to hurry up and answer these questions while we still have our sobriety about us. Now that Martina has lost, she gets crowned Queen Fat Fat Taco Head with an added bonus. Let's add this on. Oh, Martina's gone now. It's only Queen Fat Fat Taco Head. But I like Martina. Oh yeah, she's nice. She's got great boobs. Whoops, there goes the alcohol talking. <laughs>
<laughs> and I get to pick a mustache. And so I'm going to pick this mustache right here. Let me put it on for you. Oh, this is going to be a good mustache. I'm having a hard time here. What is this sticker? I don't have the manual dexterity to do this anymore. I need a parent and a designated driver. <laughs> you got on our bicycles? Uh, no. Uh, it's okay. We didn't take them today. It's raining outside. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. What are you doing? I don't want it there. Ah! <laughs> That's what she said. Poke me in the eye. Get it? What are you doing? I didn't want it there. Ow! <laughs> uh, this is great. Nice dumpe. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, starting to feel the fuzzies. So we have five more minutes for us to answer this question before she starts getting weird. <laughs> and the big topic. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is supposed to be a special moment we're going to share. This is going to be really difficult to talk about an important <laughs> topic here. <laughs> How am I supposed to give a life lesson? <laughs> this isn't right, Dad. <laughs> hey. hey, we got this. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> we got this. Queen Fat Fat Taco Head would like to address an important issue. Um, a lot of people have wanted to know how it is that we deal with negative comments. Mm -hmm. We might not be in the best state of mind in order to do so, but we've outlined our points. We so wrote hopefully notes. We could follow this and make sense to you. Yes. Now, one of the things we wanted to clarify is that I think personally there's a difference between negativity and somebody giving feedback. Yes. So, for example, a lot of you guys who I love conversing with uh -huh. might say something like, oh, I didn't like this video as much as the last mm -hmm. one. I, I mm -hmm. thought I kind of dragged on. Or, or the audio was bad in that yeah. one. Or like the lighting wasn't good. We're not talking about that. Like criticism. That's positive criticism. That's feedback so that we could try to make better videos in the future. When some people online say that we're terrible, fat, ugly people and they want to rape her cat and that we should all die and that watching this video gave them cancer, that's the kind that's of stuff that we're going to be addressing today. Yes. So I want to bracket this conversation with a common exchange I have with somebody. Mm -hmm. And so a couple weeks ago, somebody left a comment in one of our videos and they said, other title options. The two cringiest <laughs> on the face of the planet try meat. When we first got into doing this full time, when we saw negative comments, we did not react very well to mm -hmm. them. And back in the day, if I saw this comment, I would have been very angry mm -hmm. and I would have probably insulted them back and like other people in the comments would have got in there and it would have been a really uncomfortable, negative, angry space of people bickering back and forth with each other. Now, while Simon reacted one way to the comments, I reacted a different way altogether. I think the lowest that I got was when I remember like leaving the house in Korea and I remember us going for a walk and yeah. me being like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Like, this is awful. Like, there were parts in which we legitimately thought that we wanted to quit. And I just remember crying my eyes out and then calling up my best friend, Jackie, who lives in New York. And mm. I talked to her about this and I said, you know, I'm really upset. You know, these people on Tumblr, these people on, before I could finish my comment, mm -hmm. she interrupts me and she goes, what's the Tumblr? And it, it kind of shocked me and I took a step back. I realized here I am upset about this world and here's my friend who lives a normal everyday life and doesn't even know that Tumblr exists. Exactly. So why am I letting something like Tumblr and Twitter, why am I letting that affect me? Mm -hmm. Because I would step outside and feel like everybody hates me. Yeah. Everybody knows who I am. Everybody wants to kill Spudgy. Right. Everybody hates us. When right. really that's not the case. Yeah. I was taking these negative feelings and emotions and putting it on myself as if this was the absolute truth in the world. One of the things that we wound up learning about angry commenters is that anything that somebody says about you online that's negative isn't a reflection of who you are as a person because nobody online knows who you are. They don't know the kind of person that you are. They don't know how you react with friends and family. They don't know the charity work that you do. They don't know any of this. So any negative comments about you are less a reflection of who you are and more a reflection of the angry state that the commenter is in. And when we look back on how we responded to these people, how we mm. tried to argue or convince them or that, correct. you know, them. Yeah, They're like, wrong. We have to correct yeah, them. Yeah, this isn't who I am. Like, mm. you don't know me. Like, let me explain all this to you. Or this mm. isn't what I meant. When we look back on how we actually tried to approach this, uh -huh. we realize that it created this really awful vibe, both uh -huh. like in the comment section and yeah. to our audience. And I don't want any environment that we're in to be an angry place. Mm. I want our videos to be happy. I want our community to be happy. I want everything to be a positive environment. And I don't want the comment section to turn into that. So now that we've come to these epiphanies, we answer people 
people in a different way. So I want to go back to that comment that I wound up showing you. So instead of yelling and swearing at that person, I wound up responding and said, you know, we thought about using that title, but hmm. we decided against it. Drax, I knew we should have gone with our instincts. So instead of me being angry, I was playful. I was happy. Instead of insulting them, I laughed along with it. It was funny. I said, you know, we probably should have gone with that. You know, Old me wouldn't have done that at all. Old us yeah. would have been so insulted yes. and upset. Uh -huh. I literally uh -huh. looked at that comment and uh -huh. laughed so hard. Yeah. Like, I can't explain how our shifting of our attitude yeah. has made us look at these comments differently. Right. But nothing can insult me anymore. Yes. Like, I don't feel like I'm offendable. I've heard it all yeah. through all of the years that we did K-pop music video reviews. I have heard, I think, every, almost every, every insult, insult you could throw at us. It has helped me grow into a stronger person. So I wasn't insulted by this. I was amused by this and I wanted to play along with the comments. But here comes the best part about this. This new method of responding to people in a positive way yeah. actually really works. It seems like we have this perception that if we fight anger with anger, it's going to somehow win the situation. Nullify their anger, but it doesn't, it doesn't work. You fight anger with positivity and that winds up helping the situation. This sounds super cheesy, guys, but it's actually the truth. So let's go back to the comment. After my response to the person, they said, all right, you guys, are cool 700,000 views for three months and he still replied to my insult fucking sick subscribe if this was old me we would have argued back and forth instead I made this person happy in the comments I showed them the kind of environment that we have in the mm -hmm. comments with our community and I think we have a new person now that is going to be as happy and whimsical in our videos as we are and that's the kind of thing that I want to promote to people don't let anger in comments affect you negatively view that as an opportunity to reach out to people and be as cheap Easy as we are suggesting right now, meet anger with love. Oh boy. We are way too drunk to give a serious message right now. You're too drunk to give a serious meet message. Meet anger with love. Neuter your pets. Just because I like licking the couch. My couch, I mean unicorn. This is my favorite unicorn. I love him so much. I'm just gonna kiss my unicorn. Unicorn, you're so dirty. Let me groom you. Oh my god. Literally just licking the unicorn. It's not a real, it's just, it's a dead unicorn. It's real. Unicorn. I love you. What? Nothing will stop you from licking the unicorn. So that's it. That was corny. I'm not sure if that makes sense. We'll see when we're editing this and we're sober. I hope it's going to be all right. And the second question we're going to answer today is about Eat Your Sushi. Why have we missed so many Eat Your what Sushi? What the heck, right? Uh, and the answer to that is pretty simple. We've been traveling so much. Mm -hmm. So we were in Hawaii, as you saw our Hawaii videos. Right after Hawaii, we went to Aizu Wakamatsu and we filmed some amazing videos there as we well. We like two different cities. Exactly. Guys, we went to a samurai city. Yes. I learned martial arts with old women. Yep. We had like amazing, we went to a special like Edo town. Uh -huh. I don't want to give it all away, but uh -huh. like it was such an amazing adventure in Japan. And then the week after that, we got a super rare opportunity to interview a master chef that literally doesn't let people pull out their phones and take pictures. You won't find many pictures of his food online at all. And this place is like not a snobby, expensive nope. place. It's like a cheap local place. Yeah. It's just famous for being good food. And he's very like the soup Nazi in Seinfeld, if you've ever seen and that. And he hates cameras, but he for some reason let us shoot a video with him so we had to take that opportunity and that means that we wanted missing out on eat your sushi but more importantly i think <laughs> what we're getting at is this yes when we first came to japan we started eat your sushi because we wanted to share our experiences with you guys as we mm. grew right so when i look back on episode one i think about the time that we went for breakfast mm. yeah and we didn't know what that snotty paste was right remember we're like what exactly. is this we know what that is now yeah. you know we've been here for almost 10 11 months or so yeah and we've had a chance to experience a lot of parts of japan mm -hmm. and now i feel confident enough to say Hey guys, we want to take you on a food adventure and tell you what yakisoba is. We're ready to go to other prefectures now. We're ready to travel more and to show you more about our adventures in Japan. And I think that's very difficult for us to do when we're still doing Eat Your Sushis because Eat Your Sushi actually takes us three to four days to make. <laughs> it's like more than half of our week. Like it's a full day to film and then two or three days to edit and Because it's upload. like our longest segment we've this, ever did. It was like so giving you guys a much, TV show. And as a result, when we do that, we don't really get the chance to do the other adventures and the travels that we 
want to do. So what I'm hoping is we're going to take that time and yes. we're going to take the time that we'd spend editing mm -hmm. and we're going to go on more adventures yes. and we're going to go on more food places yes. and we're going to put out more frequent videos like uh -huh. we used to do when we were in Korea, right. but sharing Japan culture with yes. you. And the other thing um, I wanted to mention was that we're not going to cut out magical mail time. No, because we, we have a lot we have to go through. Yeah, and we love you guys sending us in letters and packages, so we will still do magical mail time. And also, a lot of people don't know that we have a radio show. Exactly. Yeah. We've been doing radio shows for SBS Pop Asia Radio for like almost two years now or so. It's been a long time yeah. where we talk about lots of different things. We talk about Korea, we yes. talk about Japan, we, we talk, talk about K-pop sometimes. So if you want to hear us talk for a long time, then make sure you tune in every... <laughs> yeah, if you, you want to hear us ramble talk for some a long more. Time. This doesn't mean that we're going to be making less videos. We want to go out in the world more rather yeah. than being in the studio here. I think we're ready. Let's adventure. Let's do this. Mm. So we're wandering around Shibuya looking for somewhere to eat and we noticed something super cool. Take a look up on the pole here. It tells you how far away you are from the station. It says it's a one minute walk to Motosando station. That's a really cool concept, right? That's pretty brilliant. Because I mean, I mean, I know it's kind of like happening behind the bushes right now, but it's like, hey, if you want to walk somewhere, here's how far you are, just heads up. That's, I think, a really cool idea. That's brilliant. That would change my perspective a lot. Like if I was going somewhere and it said, oh, it's a 20 minute walk to whatever, I'd be like, okay, maybe we need the bus, but I like this. Nice. Let's look for more of them. We can make a new game. We'll call it Pokey Stops. No, wait. Might be taken. We still do have a couple of giveaway winners that we want to announce from our last Eat Your Sushi from like from a our month last, ago. Last, 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 uh, last, last. And we have a winner. Do you it's, guys remember the question? It was about anything else that we've stickered uh, before. And the winner on Twitter is the Lady Ash said, Shoe stickers at your office cell. I thought those were super cute. Your front doors in Korea always had stickers too. I'm amazed that you remember that. So yeah. I think it was our second. The shoes, like Converse there you shoes. Go. Yes. I made those like Second Converse apartments. Shoes. Maybe. Yeah. That was pretty loud. Um, and that was a really great answer. We also have a second giveaway answer. We did our Japanese Halloween food adventure video where we had a lottery of burger that was like Bleh. And we have Halloween goodies to send out to. Uh, and the winner is on our website, Replenished. Because we wound up asking what you're going to dress up for in, in Halloween and they wound up saying they're dressing up as One Punch Man for Halloween, which is exactly what Martina dressed up for as except she wasn't One Punch Man. She was more like One Punch Woman! If you are either one of these two winners, make sure you send us a message, email Email is the best way to contact us and send us your mailing address. We will mail out your stuff. I'm sorry we couldn't mail out your Halloween candy sooner. You can still enjoy it, I hope. Hey. We bought it at full price. Full that price. Wasn't discount Not Halloween. discount candy. Healthy full price Halloween candy. candy. Healthy. What? More than you present came out. Okay. <laughs> This is the greatest Easter sushi we've ever done. All right, yep. This Easter sushi might be a masterpiece. The <laughs> you know masterpiece. what? We should just do this every time. Masterpiece. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our Easter sushis. Look forward to our new adventure videos. Be excited to us going to Samurai City. Be excited to us. Yes. To us. That's be sushi. excited. It makes sense. And we'll see you guys on Magic Mail Time. See you guys. It's magic. Mail Time. Ma 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 magic Mail Time. M-A-G-I-C-M-A-I-L. Magic Mail Time. Wow, did you spell that right? Amy.